There are no words to describe just how bad this gets. There will be no high energy intro with the idea to hook you into the video and make you subscribe. Because today is far too sad for that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the worst I have ever felt playing a video game. Oh boy, today is a story, let me tell you. Grab yourself a cold carbonated beverage and a snack, sit back, relax, and cancel your immediate plans. All might seem well initially, but things go south as we go north. You ever watch one of those disaster movies you've already seen a thousand times before, and in the beginning of the film, you're looking at them, all happy in the innocence that they have no knowledge of what is to come? Yeah, that's me right now. Strap yourselves in, this gets depressing. <laughs> there was me thinking that I was going to need a dragon testicle and a sacrifice to the gods to be able to repair my ascendant stuff. Um, but we literally had everything that we needed, look. We got it all repaired from our trip to the Redwood Forest where we got a little bit decimated. And now we have it all back because today, troops, you're not going to believe what I'm going to do today. We've had our issues and our problems with caves before however do you remember when we went up to the northeast we found this cave that's right today we're going to the cave straight away i don't know what's in there but i know that i'm now at the 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 level of ability the level of confidence that i'm gonna take this cave head on i'm gonna Every single dino that I have, I know I'm going to make progression. I am going to What the? The ration butch? You, you busy? Um, yeah, I'm literally trying to do the cave thing right now. I did it. I, I unlocked the thing. I unlocked the thing. What? I'm literally doing, doing the thing right now. But I finally got a mythical one. A mythical? A mythical one. Oh... You're, you're playing that game again, aren't you? That game? You mean the game with some of the best graphics on mobile, hundreds of champions and epic boss battles? Yeah, um, yeah, you always play the, um, the hostage guy, the, the orc guy. Gallic! Oh, he's my absolute fave. He was my first one. I've always got a soft spot for my first one. Do you want to see him? Do you want to see him? No, I don't want to see you, Gallic. Oh. Can I at least tell them about it? What? Them? Ugh. Go for it. If you are into collecting awesome characters, battling bosses, all on a game with fantastic graphics, then join me in an adventure and click on the link in the description or scan the QR code. Raid Shadow Legends are increasing its roster of awesome looking champions with a brand new rarity level, Mythical. These mythical characters have an awesome new mechanic called Metamorph that allows them to change between two different forms. Think like Gaming Butch metamorphing into a bigger and better version, Narration Butch. That is absolutely outrageous. I carry this channel, I'll have you know. That is Mythical champions change between forms using unique metamorph skills. You can summon these awesome mythical creatures using the brand new red primal shards. Watch out though, mythical champions two forms use the same artifacts, accessories, masteries and blessings so be careful how you use them. They are the most versatile champions ever seen in raid. If that wasn't enough to get you to join in on the adventure by clicking the link or scanning the QR code then check out the new Curse City update which is one of raid's biggest features since the Doom Tower with over 100 stages to complete. If you click the link in the description, you will get access to insane and awesome bonuses like the epic champion Drake, as well as loads of other useful and exciting things. And once you're in crushing your enemies, come find me under the name ButchX3 and join my clan the XFam so we can be legends together. I want to talk to you about my friend Barry. Well, we ain't actually met Barry, but a little birdie told me that there is a, a creature, a dinosaur, a reptile that is just as good, if not better, than a sarco. Now, I don't actually know how good a sarco is in a cave because mine didn't fit in. But I think I know what they mean. Barry is like Barry on Barry on expiry. I, I don't know if you know, I try not say the names of dinos in my videos because every time somebody's like, 
actually i'll think you'll find it's pronounced and then give me the correct pronunciation and my ego can't take that so we're gonna call it barry i think we've seen it before i think we've seen it before um and i believe it's either gonna be in the swamp area which is a key or they said the rivers so i mean there's only i mean there's a few rivers maybe we'll do that one and that one there so that's what we're gonna try and do we were not holding back at all today and going straight in to begin with though i needed to prepare i wasn't stupid enough to go into the cave completely unprepared so we spent the next round preparing everything we thought we might need before setting out to find the barry so i've done some preparations we now have more bullets i need more bullets more shotgun bullets and uh, i'm getting flamed in the comments of many many a videos for um using my arrows my trank arrows as opposed to the trank darts but in my head a trank arrow is much much easier to make than a uh trank dart because that tastes like metal and metal's a pain in the ass to get as opposed to everything else so what i've done is to please you people i yeah you, you people i've got this again for that so we'll give that a go um so yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and have a look at the well we'll have a fly over the swamp first and then we're gonna go along the river i'm taking uh frodo because he's the quickest truth be told he's the quickest. is the sun just going down i think the sun might just be going down but we're gonna have a look above but here's the thing i don't know if this is true or not you have to take comments with a grain of salt some of them are fantastic most of them are fantastic some of them i don't know how much truth there is a couple of people have said butch you're about 10 percent of the way through 10 percent, and it got me thinking that like we are uh, we, what are we on i think this is episode 25 i don't even know at this point if we're 10 percent, then do the math so that's a lot of videos a lot of videos so i'm gonna try and speed things up now i don't mean speed things up as googling top 10 most effective times to have i mean me instead of kind of like i, I usually take my time with things go we're gonna go a little bit more balls to the wall so for example rather than me right now going into the cave oh i'm scared and i go in and then i realize it's a shit show and then i come back out and then i start taming dinos for it i'm just gonna go in with a handful of dinos and just see what happens that's what we're gonna do um rather than if you know what i mean so yeah so we're speeding things up but not we're not we're not spoiling anything for ourselves we're just trying to play a little bit faster all right now uh maybe this <laughs> the swamp isn't the best idea to search for these because i can't see anything we'll do one flyby over and then we'll uh we'll maybe go to the river doing this at night time is probably not the best idea i've had to, to be fair it looks like long and slinky like 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 a, like a crocodile and a deer had a love hug and that came out that's how i would describe it maybe maybe like a horse it's like a like a more of a like halfway between a horse and a crocodile because it's like lankier i think i think that's what i'm looking for I might get really frustrated and can't find one, in which then in case I'll Google exactly where to find one. Oh, well, we've got Spicky with me. Spike. The uh, feces throwing monkey. I realized I said that a couple of times and I maybe need to explain myself. Monkey. Monkey. Growing up, we had an advert for deadly tea, which is tea. Of course we did. I don't drink tea or coffee. I know. Renounce my English citizenship. I fucking hate this stuff. Um, but there was a it, there was a, there's a guy called Johnny Vegas who's like a comedian. But he, t he how does he talk? He talks quite raspy. I know I've not maybe got accent correct, but he's very north and talks like this. And in advert, he would go Tetley T monkey. 
At least that's how I remember him doing it. So now I'm, uh, that's why I'm saying it. Oh shit, that's a whatchamacallit. Oh god, there's two of them. All right, boots on the ground, boots on the ground. Oh, I did, yeah, where, where's my shotgun? I'll maybe get that in slot number one, just in case. I'm not expecting there to be much good in here. It's only a green. Oh, flare gun. Shit, what's happening here? Raptors. They're below us now. I don't even want to waste my time with that. You know, it's easy to take video games for granted in just how pretty they can be. But throw me a sunset on Ark, and I will practically be frothing. My god, the game is pretty. We are in such... You do wonder. You do wonder about things being... So, when I was growing up... What games did I play growing up? What games did I play on the PS2? I can't even remember. I used to play, like... I remember playing Need for Speed Underground 2 on the PS2. Thinking that shit was like... Oh my god, it's like photorealistic. Um, Medal of Honor Allied Assault. Played the shit out of that. I don't know if you've played Medal of Honor Allied Assault, one of the iconic FPS games, and in it, Allied, when, you, when, you, when you play the campaign, you've got that D-Day, the Omaha Beach, when you storm the beach. Ha playing that when I was like, I think it was like 13, 14, was like, and I was like running from different things. I felt like I was in the game. That's how immersed I felt. And then, a couple of years ago, I went back to play it, it hasn't aged well. I feel like I played Medal of Honor Allied Assault like people play Hell Let Loose now. Um, I played that again. A crazy game. But I wonder that, like, back then we thought that this was, like, photorealistic graphics. Like, unbelievable. I remember when GTA 3 dropped. Everybody lost their mind. was like, oh my god. This is so real. And then now look at where we are. What's it going to look like in 10, 15 years time? Will we look back on Ark Survival Ascended and think, people, people thought that was realistic? Are we going to get to the stage where reality and video games blend so much together through the use of like VR headsets and things like that? Are we, are we actually going to have a ready player once in the, the moon? Look at that. The sun, the moon, the obelisks. This is beautiful. But yeah, you, it does make you wonder, doesn't it, about these things. Um, a few of you commented as well about why I keep playing with my headset so much. It doesn't fit me. It's snapped. It's snapped at both places, and it does not hug my head tight, which is why you see me fiddling with it a lot. I know I just don't want... I can't justify spending money on a headset when this one works perfectly. Anyway... Do you remember the Rex that we tamed last episode? The one that was left behind because he couldn't keep up? Well, we found him again, enjoying a nice foot bath in the river. We dropped down to say hello and check up on him, when we were suddenly attacked by level 145 Raptor. This fella was too good to pass up on. Oh, I can't... F level 145 Raptor! Don't mind if I do! No, 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 passive, 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 passive. Right, let's test this thing out then and see... If it is any better. 145 Raptor. Oh, this makes me feel a bit waffy whenever I shoot it. There's like an unnecessary amount of camera movement. Why does my eyes have to follow this as it comes down? I think you guys are lying. You know how much metal I'm using right now? What the fuck was that noise? Eventually, the raptor succumbed to our trank darts and after a short wait, was successfully tamed. We christened him Ronaldo because he was big, strong, and pretty valuable, just like Ronaldo in real life. We paused the search for a Barry and airlifted Ronaldo home to keep him safe. We then headed back out to resume our search for a Barry. That, surely not. Wait. <gasps> Oh no, it's only level 20. Oh, it's only level 20. Shit, why is this? Hold up, hold up. Why is it so quiet here as well? What level are you in case... Oh, you're only level 10. Right, okay. Let's, um... We, we found one. It was a swampy area, but le le level level 20 is, uh, is low. All right. Here we go. 
Oh, is it this? Oh, God, yeah, you look vicious, don't you? You are, you're like a... You're like a mix between a crocodile and a... Uh, did I, what did I say? I said deer and horse? Maybe, maybe not that, but... Oh, Jesus. There we go. She's down. The teeth like that, you're a thousand percent a carnivore, right? It turned out that the Baryonyx was a pescatarian, meaning it would only eat fish. Makes sense, given that it is right by the river. God. And your mum tells you to stop playing video games so much because they're not educational and a waste of time? Go and grab it right now and show her this video. Prove her wrong. Tell her to subscribe and that my DMs are always open. Anyway, speaking of escorts, the Barry was eventually tamed, which was good news. The bad news, though, is that we couldn't carry them with Frodo. Instead, we would have to escort them back to the compound. However, shortly after we began our journey home, we spied another. Wait, is that one? Oh, please be like level 100. Oh, I've put my horrible, horrible, um, Q thing. Hotbar, there we go. That's what I was meaning. Level 1000. What level was that? Let's see. 65. Stay. Stay. Okay. Here we go. I'll take the hits. I'll take the hits. Come at me. This is fine. This is fine. Stay calm. Stay calm. I'm taking the hits. It's all part of it. It's all part of the plan. 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 Of the plan. Go to sleep. Oh, wait. Oh, no. It's a female. All right. We'll take it anyway. We'll take it anyway. We'll take it anyway. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, pretty please. Go to sleep. Oh, come on. Really? What's that? Oh, piss off. Why? What is that, a turkey? Yeah, you're about to die, aren't you? Not die. Look, the top run. That's the infamous. Oh, God, my God, it's fast. Oh, shit. Oh, don't tell me I'm going to lose it. No, 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 no. Fuck. The rock. No, 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 no. Come here, come here. There we go. There we go. Right, I need fish. Not one, but two barries. This was pretty good going. Even better, the barry had increased to level 95 after we tamed her far surpassing our lower level one. I escorted both barries back to the compound to keep them safe. The reason we were getting these barries in the first place was that when we checked the cave entrance on the island to the northeast, you had to swim through water. I had no way of knowing how much water was in this cave, so I figured taking a bunch of barries in our psychos was probably going to be the best bet in case there was a lot of swimming. Therefore, it makes sense to craft a saddle for the higher level barry and take her out while searching for more. This way, we could kill anything that moved to level her up and hopefully add a few more barriers to our army. What better way to level up a barry than to go out on a barry and find another barry? Find a barry with a willy. A high level barry with a willy. Or a high level other barry with, with, the, with the opposite to a willy. So that we can... Um, you know, I reckon if we have like five, maybe if we try five, I don't know how, how easy it is going to, to get five, but these things are quite big. Definitely get some points on you. Right, let's throw the uh, the saddle on and you come with me. Nice. Look at it. They are quite vicious. What do you do? What's your right click? Nothing. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, creepy. Uh, right, let me just shed some weight real quick. Um, and so we set out on our newly tamed Barry. This bit, it took a while. One, because we weren't seeing any of the Barrys, but two, because I keep getting distracted. Without a shadow of a doubt, the Redwood Forest and the area surrounding it was the most beautiful I had seen in the game. Just paddling through the river and watching all the wildlife on the riverbanks had me feeling like I was in some sort of prehistoric David Attenborough series. Sure, I had one eye out for the berries, but my other eye was firmly on everything else. However, what I found next, I was not expecting to find at all, and I got quite excited about it. 
Ooh. Sheep. Oh my! What the fuck? That's an actual man. That now is not the time. Can I have the monkey? Excuse me. There's a man. There's a gorilla man. Why are you not dying? Seriously. Piss off. I'm going to shoot him right in the ass. Oh! Oh, he's pissed. Run away. It's a gorilla. It's an actual gorilla. Fuck. He's not strong, is he? Oh, yeah. He's, look, he's slow. He's... Oh, my God. This donkey gone. Come on. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. What level are you? You're only level 15. How does... How are you still standing? Oh shit! What's you? What are you getting attacked by? This gorilla had the thickest of skin, apparently, and was absolutely tanking my trunk darts. He also was quite slippery and was easily lost in the bushes. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I can smell you. I'm going to track you. You can't escape from me. You can't escape from me. Ugh. Go down. Jesus Christ. Tango is not going down, I repeat. Not, I'm out of ammo. Right, now I'm going to kill it, aren't I? Accidentally. <gasps> Tango down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Those of you who frequent this game will realize what I had just done. However, I had not realized what I had just done until I did it. After all, you can't know what you don't know until you do what you did do. Is this like an actual monkey where I have to, like, feed stuff? Spike, what's going on? Can you not speak to him? Oh, shit. Well. He might have some special stuff on him. Are these super rare and I've, and I've just, like, fucked it? He had absolutely jack shit on him. I kind of feel really bad about the gorilla now. Maybe should have thought about that for a second. Do I just approach them? No, and, and just or do I have to sneak up on them and then, and then be like, does this cloth smell like chloroform to you? And just put it like full of these berries here. And I'm like, shh, it's fine. It's important to not dwell on your mistakes. It was just unfortunate that my mistake was accidentally killing what could have been a friendly gorilla in an attempt to put them to sleep so they would become my tame slash slave. We put it behind us and carried on. We leveled up this barrier by killing anything that moved, which also happened to include an alpha carno, albeit a low level one. Further down the river, we were able to tame another two barriers and were blessed by the art gods in the form of some flippers, which were contained within a yellow pulsar. The fins would come in handy if we found ourselves having to swim without a tame. God forbid that ever has to happen. Finally, it was time to head home. We now had the boring stuff to do in the form of preparing everything that we would need for the cave. This basically meant crafting extra arrows, more bullets, and making sure that all of our armor was repaired. Whilst I was out gathering some flint, I noticed a strange light in the ocean. I had seen some light in the oceans before, but they were usually just flashes. This light, however, was more of a steady glow and didn't seem to be subsiding. I don't know why I'm doing this. I really don't know why I'm doing this, but there's been a blue light there for a while now. Twat. I hate that. See that bit there? Look, or is it just like a bug's light? What the f- What is that? Oh, is it jellyfish? Oh, if it is, they can do one. Hey, you stay back. Beast. 
Oh no, 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 no. She is quick, 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 quick. A what? Oh. Do I hack it? What does it give me? Ugh. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh! Oh, no, no, no. I blame this shark for being an omen for what was to come. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Butch, you're the most handsome bastard I've ever seen in my life. But he also told us that things go south. Well, this is that point. I have given you 25 minutes of more or less good things. Now, let me tell you about the bad ones. Nope. Nope. We're not going to hype it up. We're not going to hype it up. You know what we're going to do? We're going to pretend that we know what we're doing. And, um... Like, this is completely and utterly normal for us. I'd really like him to be a lot higher, but honestly, I just don't have the patience. So, you three, follow me. Let's do it. Come on, let's just go. It's fine. <coughs> Guys, if you're new to the channel, um, I am the number one East... <sighs> Oh, oh, that is horrendous. That was an almighty pucker there. Oh my God, my sphincter actually clapped. I think I heard it. That's revolting. You should go around the corner and it's there. But <clears throat> what was the same? If you're new to the channel, I am the UK's number one ARC esports champion. And we go to caves all the time. Um, and that's what we're going to do now. It's no dramas at all. No dramas at all. You saw people think cookies and milk. Um, Teddy Swift, Travis Kelsey. Um, Butch and Caves. They just go together. It's fine. No problem at all. And so it began. The adventure into the second cave. Dino and his army of Barrys and Sarkos set out with the plan of returning with whatever we might find in the cave. It took us a while as the Sarkos were slow on land and too fast in the water for the barriers to keep up. We ended up in a couple of scraps along the way, but eventually we were walking up to the mouth of the cave. Ah, shit, I don't like how much health we've lost from one dino there. Oh, I have reservations about this. Well, this I've spent two hours preparing to get in this damn cave. What do you think I'm made of time? We gotta go. We got. There's no choice. Watch it not get through here. Please, please, please. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> Maybe if, maybe if I get rid of this. Oh, fuck. They've put this here specifically probably to stop Sarko's getting in. This was the worst start possible. We weren't able to take the Sarko's into the cave once again. We spent the next few minutes trying to shuffle the meat roadblock around to allow the barriers through. And eventually, we came up to the point where we hadn't ventured any further. Whatever was on the other side of this water, I was just praying that me and my berries would be enough. Right, now we're talking. All right, hop on. Uh, level up. And let's go. Oh. Maybe, maybe we, maybe we don't have to kill everything. Maybe we just run around and see if we can find an artifact. Yeah. Go! Oh god. Oh god, we're gonna have to go first person here. Now what? Where was it again? Was it this way? Or is this the way that we've came? Oh wait, no, the, yeah, that's the way that we came. These are never gonna make it down here. Through here, here we go, through here, go. Pfft. 
What? Bats! Kill it! Ki what? Oh no! Guys, I'm not worried about the bats. I'm worried about the full... Oh no. Oh no. Right, hold on. I need to get the other one. I was expecting some creepy crawlies, perhaps even some bigger cave-dwelling enemies, but what I was not expecting was an obstacle course. This cave wasn't a cave, it was a chasm, a sheer drop where death awaits, a hole wide and ominous, waiting expectingly for you to inevitably slip into its grasp. There was no way I was going to be able to successfully navigate this cave and keep all of my barriers alive. Alright, well there's nothing to it. In fact, if I get my torch out, I might be selling the bats on fire. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Yep. One, one of the barrels just fell down. Oh. And, and now, look how much damage I'm taking. Actual what the fuck. This is not good. Both my other barriers are dead already. <laughs> I don't know what. Ranio a level 150. What's in a Ranio? Wait, are they the bats? I reckon we just full send it, boys. I could lose all of this. YOLO? What? Alright, speed is key here. We evade and we don't fight. Evade and don't fight. Evade, evade and don't fight. Evade and don't fight. One dino is all I need. It's all I need. It's all... Oh, no, no! Just go. Just don't fight. Don't fight. Oh, sweet Jesus. What's that? Let me have that. Let me have that. Let me have that. No! Oh, no! No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Words 
are often the most common and default way of communicating things. As a species, we have evolved to use our vocal cords to build relationships with others and express ourselves. There are moments in life when words are not needed. Words were not needed when man stepped on the moon for the very first time. We knew how colossal that was. Words were not needed in that scene in Transformers when Megan Fox popped the hood of the car. I couldn't even see straight the first time that I saw that. And words, words are not needed here. Except to tell you that things got even worse. I reckon. I reckon. There's a chance. I reckon there's a chance. Each bed is that? Yeah. Please, please, no, please don't be down south. Please don't be down south. Okay, no, we're good. I reckon there's a chance. I reckon... I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Uh, do we have... Oh, what do we have spare? There we go. We got we got two primitive bows. No, we don't need... Uh. How does this work, then? Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh Okay. That's this, this is this is what we do. Ryan. I'm not I don't worry, I'm not taking you, Ryan. You are safe. You are safe. Ryan, you are safe. You are safe, brother. I'm simply taking taking the saddle off. I'm gonna put it on Wait, is that mine? Or is that a wild one? Oh shit, that's a wild one, isn't it? Okay. Uh, where's... Uh, let's take Frodo over to the island and go. We've got to go, though. Time is of the essence right now. There is a chance that if I... Uh, here's, a, here's a question. Does, does armor protect from fall damage? So I, I took a shit ton of fall damage there. Was a lot of that negated because of the armor that I was wearing? Or do you just take fall damage regardless? Because <coughs> if I just sprint, don't worry about anything else and just sprint. And I think there'll be like a spiral system on the way down. And then we can spiral on the way down. We can get to the bottom. We grab our stuff and then try and get out. It's worth a shot. That was the plan. Exfil and extract. Rescue and recover. Do not engage. Balls deeper into the cave. Squint and sprint and move with speed. That's a sign from Jesus himself there. In there will be something that will help me get my shit back. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Mastercraft Gilly Goldnuts. What? Nice. Nice. That's not what I'm here for. I watched you die. Oh wait, did you not die? Oh. Question. 
Is this cheating? I didn't do it. You guys have seen everything. I didn't do it. Barry has glitched up through the roof and is now here. I shouldn't take him because I'm like, it, that's definitely cheese in the game. But at the same time, he's been present, presented to me like some sort of divine intervention. Who am I to say no to that at the end of the day? Who am I to say no to that? Only problem is, is that he's really low health. A gift from the gods themselves. Bless the nine. We took our wounded Barry to the cave entrance in preparation for attempt number two. Just, I have a feeling outside dinos won't get in here. Frodo, not the place for you, mate. Not the place for you. We take, come on. I can't see a thing. Chill and chill. Can you settle? If you if you settle there, I think that's safe. Oh. The thing is, do I go down? Do I go down by myself to try and get my stuff? Or do I go down on Barry? Knowing that he might die. Do I lose a level 151 Barry? Or lose all of my stuff? I might I might just try myself. Okay, I don't even want to lose that. Oh wait, no. Oh no, that's Barry. Yeah, yeah, you know. I wanna I wanna move this stuff over so I don't lose any of this. I'll go myself. I don't... Your health's too low and it's going to take too long. I don't have the time. I go myself. We go ourselves. Speed is key. Just get down to the bottom as fast as we possibly can. We pick up our stuff and we leave. That's it. <coughs> That's it. I can do this. No matter how many bats are in there. You run. You just run like the wind. We have a riot shield. Like this. Okay. Let's go. You're playing only up and nothing else. All those times playing Doritos Crash Course is going to pay off. Fall Guys is going to pay off. We just go down. All the way down. All the way down. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted and try not fall. Don't... It's fine. It's fine. It's a very hauntingly beautiful cave, though. But it's fine. Was this where we got distracted? With that thing? I think it was, yeah, then we fell off there. Ignore the bats. Ignore the bats. Ignore the bats. We'll outrun them. We'll outrun them. We'll outrun them. See? See? We'll outrun them. Oh, I didn't like that. We'll outrun them. All the way down. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. <coughs> okay, maybe stop. Okay, no, don't stop. We can do this. We can do this. Don't get webbed by the... Oh, don't get webbed by the spiders. Oh, here, here. Yes. Yes. Wait. What is down there? Ready? <gasps> Go! Transfer! Oh, shit, 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 shit. The artifact! Get it! Get it! Now run, now run, now run, now run, now run, now run. Don't get webbed. If you get webbed, you die. If you get webbed, you die. If you get webbed, you die. Oh my god, imagine if we did this. No, no, imagine. Do it. Just do it! Uh. <gasps> imagine. No. Oh. Where's my shotgun? No shotgun? Sh my shotgun's there. Yeah, no, we don't need to attack. No, I'm okay. Maybe, maybe, have, maybe have it ready. Save the game. Oh. 
Save the game. <laughs> I want to figure out how to get the just the riot shield. How do I? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Just run, 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 just run. Oh yeah! Ah, I didn't. Oh shit! Oh no! I think that was a good thing that I did. <sighs> Shit. 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 Not like this. Not like this. Just don't fall down. Whatever you do, don't fall down. Don't fall down. I can't see anything. Run, 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 run. Just run, just run, just run, just run. Big jump, big jump, big jump, big jump, big jump, big jump. <gasps> I did. <laughs> I'm on edge. I'm on edge. This is fine. That's a dung beetle. Dung beetle's a friend, not food. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Rabies. What the fuck? What the fuck is a highly contagious mega rabies? Am I going to die in this amount of time? Oh no. I am going to die. If I'm going to die, I don't die at the bottom. I die there. Okay. I can't jump. I can't jump. Oh, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. We can, we can still do it. We can still, we had our stuff. We can still do it. 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 How do I get there? How do I get there quickly? We don't have any of the flying. I can't take Ryan, can I? Can I? saddle on me because I took it off and now I don't want to saddle oh, uh, we can't lose Ryan Ryan we're not gonna lose you we're not gonna lose you mate what well, it won't happen I, I won't let it happen I mean, if it happens it's not it's, it's accidental oh yes get get that right come on come on come on we go we go okay so where I died I think is accessible we just need to go back. Grab it and get out that ledge. That one ledge. The, oh. I don't think you understand how stressed I am. I need to go to bed. It is a work night. I don't have this long. But I can't quit. I can't quit. I have to get my stuff back. The artifact. The, it, hopefully the artifact's still on. On us. It would be, right? It wouldn't despawn. It's it's still on a body. Okay, come on. Get some stamina back. Yeah, it'll be there. If I get that artifact right, I don't have to go back in the cave. I don't have to go back in. That's it. The wings of Ryan guided us back towards the cave. I wish... I wish... I'd taken the time to be more present on this flight. Taken the time to enjoy flying through the skies. The wind through my hair. Ryan 
between my legs. Okay, that sounded horrendous. But the point I'm trying to make is sometimes just be present and smell the roses. Because you never know when they might not be there. We arrived at the cave for attempt number three. Ryan, let me through. Right. Okay, save the game, save the game, save the game. We go. We don't have anything. We don't need anything. We just... If we get in a fight, we're dead. So we just need to literally dive in. Grab our stuff. Leave. I don't think it's that far down. I think it's on the... Oh, this is so stressful. Everything that I've worked for. Everything that I've gained... Did I just go the wrong way? Am I going back the way I came? No, okay. Ready? Go. Where did I die? Where's my last death marker? It's down there. I think. I think it's somewhere down there. It has to be. Okay, so it is quite far around. This might be a problem. It's the spiders. Come on. Speed. 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 Ryan, no! my god I'm oh the oh my oh. oh I am oh. if all of my days had been in video games Say my whole life was just in video games. This would be the worst day of my life. I have never felt pain like this. Everything that we worked for over the past, how, how many episodes has it been since we died? 20? Everything's just gone. And Ryan. Ryan. I don't know what happens to my stuff. I don't know where the last death marker went. Couldn't remember where I died and then the waves go on me and uh, That was horrendous. Horrendous. I can't take any more today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm sorry, Ryan. Wait for you, wait.
for Take me. it easy. Don't forget, troops, be sure to download Raid Shadow Legends using the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen for some awesome bonuses.